something. I so you, you graduated as valedictory and you decided to go to Princeton. How come you decided to go to Princeton? Because I wanted to be a theoretical physicist. And uh, I, so I went to Princeton and um, I, I was a really good student, as I pointed out already. I, I got A pluses on almost everything I, I um, uh, had. Uh, I was in the honors, honors physics track, which starts out with you know, 100 students. And by the time you get to quantum mechanics, it's like 30. So I'm in quantum mechanics. I think this is like junior year. And I've also been taking a bunch of computer science classes and electrical engineering classes, which I'm also enjoying. And I, um, I can't solve this partial differential equation. It's really, really hard. And um, I, I've been studying with my uh, roommate, Joe, who also is really good at math. And, um, and the two of us worked on this one homework problem for three hours and got nowhere. And we finally said, we looked up at each other over the table at the same moment. We said, Yosanta. Because Yosanta was the smartest guy at Princeton. And um, we went to Yosanta's room, and he was Sri Lankan. And in the Facebook, which was an actual paper book at that time, there were, his name was three lines long, because I guess in Sri Lanka, when you do something good for the king, they give you an extra syllable on your name. And so he had a super long last name, the most humble, wonderful guy. And we show him this problem. And he looks at it, he stares at it for a while, and he says, cosine. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, that's the answer. And I'm like, that's the answer? And he's like, yeah, let me show you. So he brings us into his room. He sits us down. He writes out three pages of detailed algebra. Everything crosses out. And the answer is cosine. And I said, listen, Yosanta, <laughs> did you just do that in your head? And he said, no, that would be impossible. Uh, three years ago, I solved a very similar problem. And I was able to map this problem onto that problem. And then it was immediately obvious that the answer was cosine. And I, that was an important moment for me because that was the very moment when I realized I was never going to be a great theoretical physicist. <laughs> and um, so I started doing some soul searching. I was like, that, you know, that is a magic trick. It's a, the people who, the, you know, theoretical phys, in most occupations, if you're in the 90th percentile or above, you're going to contribute. In theoretical physics, you've got to be like one of the top 50 people in the world or you're really just not helping out much. You know, you're, well. and, uh, and so uh, I was very clear that I, like, I, I, I saw the writing on the wall and um, I changed my uh, major very quickly to electrical engineering and computer.